Hey, jig and spoons, blade baits, two of my favorite types of lures to fish. The crazy thing is these two baits can be fished on and over the exact same structural elements, but they couldn't be farther apart from each other as far as how you fish them. First of all, the blade bait, the head and sonar, this bait comes into its own when the water temperatures start to get below 55 degrees all the way to 38 degrees. The tight vibration action on these blade baits really triggers bites in the cold weather. The jigging spoon, the cotton cord LCC spoon, can be fished at the exact same times of year. The spoon actually mimics a dying bait fish to the T. Now here, let me show you the differences. When I fish the blade bait, I'm more or less fishing it on a horizontal technique. So I'll, if I see, if let's say I'm going over a long tapering point, I see bass on the bottom, bait fish on or near the bottom, I'm picking up the head and sonar. And I'll throw it out on top of the point, the shallow side, and I yo-yo it down the brake line, slow and methodically. Here, let me show you what I'm talking about. If this is the bass and these are the bait fish, I'll throw the, the um, sonar up here and I yo-yo it down the break, nice and methodically, and that gets me my bites. I'm banging it on the bottom, lifting it up, banging it on the bottom, lifting it up. Now, conversely, let's say we idle over the same point and we see bait fish and bass suspending way off the bottom, that's where the CC spoon excels. I'll drop this bait, I get right over top of it vertically, drop this bait right through the shad. As soon as I get through the ball of shad, I stop it from falling. Engage your reel, stop it. Now I'll pump it up once and then I'll double, do a double pump and I let it go down on a controlled slack line. So basically my line's gonna have a little bow in it and I just follow it down and I never let it go to the bottom and I never let it get below the bass. I always keep it between the bass and the bait fish. This imitates a dying bait fish and the bass can't resist it. Those are the two main differences between these baits. I use the blade baits for a more horizontal approach it can be slow rolled like a spinner bait, you know, dragging it along the bottom. And I use my spoons vertical right over the top of the bass. Now stay with us for the next video, because in the next video, I'm actually going to tell you exactly how and where to fish each one of these lures. And if you like these videos, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe so you don't ever miss a video.